Okay, I wanted to quickly show you the connections at the back of the Exxon Ultra. So we can see a view of it here. We have the on-off switch, we have the power connection, we have the water taps um, through which you can optionally water cool the camera down to a deeper temperature of minus 100 degrees. Um, you'll notice here we have a USB connection as the primary interface for the Exxon Ultra. I've actually been running all these demonstrations um, in this series on my own laptop. Now, we also have plugged in a I.O. connector. It's a 26 pin D-type. And from this, you can have a number of inputs and outputs. We're showing a few of them here. The most common ones would be, for example, the external trigger input. So you would provide a TTL pulse to the camera um, to synchronize it that way. Or you have the fire output. This is the camera providing a TTL pulse coincident with the exposure time, which you could then use to trigger other devices. Um, finally, you'll, you'll notice one additional connector up here called a CL1. That's actually a camera link output specifically. Now, this is included for some applications that are very data intensive, let's say. For example, adaptive optics, where you want to do as real time as possible processing on the image, on the images series in real time. Now, you can then get a direct output of data um, through this camera link output, send it, for example, to a processing card. The data analysis can then happen in real time.